I wouldn't be surprised to see some con consolidation from these levels on negative headlines like Steve was talking about. You get something on trade, trade being the ultimate barometer. I also wouldn't be surprised to see some positives come out of that because when you look at the way earnings are coming out there, you, a major impact to the, the sell-off kind of last year was the fact that earnings were decelerating in negative revisions, right? Now that you've had those negative revisions, some of that was incorporating even a 25% tariff as it relates to, to China. And if you have that move and it, it, you have incremental progression, that does not happen. What's going to happen is you're going to start to see earnings come in better. So when I look at everything that, that Jim outlined, those are all positives. We've come very far, very fast. And so I think you have to be mindful about rebalancing. But longer term, I agree with him. I think you have to be overweight risk assets. You have to be. If you're an investor on the sidelines, though, Scott, and you're waiting to deploy capital, I think on headline risk, you might have a better entry so I heard point. Some, I heard some guy on, on Squawk this morning um, who did not join the, the, the rally, the bottom, in, in December. And when asked if he would put new money to work right now, he said he wouldn't because he does expect stocks to come down. What do you think, Doc? Um, I, I think that's, uh, you know, a regret that that gentleman or person didn't had. even express much regret in missing it of course he would how have could you to not well but look there are a lot of people who who saw stocks decline the way they did into the end of December yep and probably got scared uh, and didn't put all that money to work sure would you have liked to a host of, course, of folks but would probably. you now who cares what you would have done would you now there are some people doing exactly that right now Scott uh, for instance in the SPY if we want to measure the S&P 500 by that ETF there were aggressive buys out in March uh, at various strikes. One of them uh, was, I think, the 283 strike or 285 strike, something like that. Here you see it, the 281 strike. There it is. Big volume trade in that particular strike. Same thing in QQQ. So when you're asking me, and that was the 175s, I think, and the 183s in the QQQ, there's the 280, there it is, 175 calls. That's the quad Q. These are March. So these aren't just the short terms that we talk about. These are a little bit further out, but they're significantly above where the market is right now. So the people that are buying these, the 175s and the 183s, are betting that the NASDAQ continues to outperform the so, S&P uh, so and continues to move higher. Asked, that's why I asked the question the, the way I did it at mm -hmm. the very top. Is your biggest risk right now getting in here after this significant right. move? or not being in the market, which looks like it has some momentum back. I, I think it depends on your timetable. The, th the one thing that I would say is in the very short run, there may be some risk entering right here. And I'm not really talking to the trader crowd here. I'm talking like no, the long term the, investing. The longer term investing crowd, I think, I, I think it makes a little sense to, 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 to still stay overweight risk assets because of where we are. You look, at, you look at the growth and inflation paradigm that we have today. We are in an environment where we're having kind of decelerating but reasonable growth, and you have no inflation whatsoever. CPI was 1.8 like. versus 2 it, that's a year over loss. year. But if you, you did have that, that, that is right. almost perfect. So the market's 6% yeah. off its highs. But when the market hit its highs, everybody believed you'd have double-digit earnings growth mm -hmm. for as far as the eye can see. So in my view, the market maybe hasn't adjust, adjusted enough because we're now at, at mid single digit earnings growth and going lower. So the market, so down 6% isn't enough.